All right, so I finally got my last video to load on YouTube, so now I can get to the Sentinel video. I actually am sitting on a lot of toys that I'm kind of excited to view, so I'm going to try to crank them out. If I don't crank them out, it's because YouTube sucks. It's not because I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing videos. I actually do kind of want to do videos. I'm actually working in town this week, so I figured now would be a good time to catch up on some of these. Plus, I just, I'm really excited about a lot of these toys. I want to get them on my shelf. I was looking at YouTube and Instagram and I was like seeing people were getting their Sentinel and I'd run, check my email and be like, oh, no, no tracking number, nothing yet. When am I getting mine? When I, how come he got his, but I didn't get mine and he lives by me. But it, and it just, it really was starting to suck. I just didn't get it. Plus, not to mention, I was one of the first person to order one of these and I didn't just order one, I ordered two. That being said, I don't want to turn this into a commercial, but I am going to sell the other one. If you're interested in buying it, let me know. I'm thinking like 900 bucks with free shipping. It's going to be like 100 bucks of shipping to ship that thing. The box is crazy big. If it's going for less on eBay, then I'll probably drop the price. But yeah. for right now, I'm thinking like 900 is a pretty fair price. I know it sucks, but it is what it is, man. You shouldn't have slept on it, bro. You should have bought one. That, that's your bad. That's not my bad. If I can double up and, and come up on this, like, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm just putting it right out there. So when they made this thing, I was like, should I army build it? Should I not? I know it's super expensive. Is it kind of a ripoff if it's kind of not? Because I was always a guy yelling at them going, why can't you just do the bigger characters and vinyl and make them affordable? Because Mattel does three foot long dinosaurs for $50. I'm like, why can't you do a three foot tall Sentinel for $50 and make it out of vinyl? And I think it would just be a little bit more affordable for everybody. Granted, this is an amazing action figure and it's definitely worth what I paid for him. Like he, he couldn't be any better. He's action figure perfection. He's like 400 bucks. Is he worth it? Yeah, I, I really do. Like I got like the Hulk Buster Iron Man also for 400 bucks. And when you compare this to that, yes, that one's metal and that one is definitely better than this. But then the size and you're kind of like, yeah, I see it. I think it's totally worth it. This thing's amazing. We'll take a closer look at it here in a little bit. I'm not going to go over too much of it because there's already a bunch of really good reviews at it. And I'm sure that if you're interested, you've already saw like six of those. I'm just going to kind of give you my opinion on that. I know a lot of people got that shit email saying your shit's on a boat in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Good luck. We don't know when the fuck you're getting your sentinel. Thank God I'm not one of those guys because that would really suck to get it like three months from now. So when I got this thing and they made the Master Mold head, I was like definitely on board. I'm going to definitely get one of those and I'm going to get another one just in case I want to display one as a Sentinel and one as a Master Mold. The Tri-Sentinel head to me, that seemed like as stupid as the Dr. Doom head for the Galactus. The Tri-Sentinel doesn't look anything like this. So I was like, why are you even throwing that head in? The battle damage parts, I thought that was a really cool touch. But that's just like a rich man's game if you're going to have a battle damage one. And I know some people are army building this thing, but some people also have a shit ton of money or they don't have any other hobbies in life or family or I don't know. Maybe they're just super rich, but to army build a $400 action figure, you, uh, you got to stop and look at your life and check your priorities. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I would like to do it. I wish I had like three of them on my shelf. That would make for a really cool display. But then it wouldn't work with Master Mold. So how I'm going to display this, I got this old one to build a figure. I don't really like that thing anymore because it doesn't really match my display. I'm probably going to get rid of that thing also. I do have these two. This is the original one. Both of these talk for some reason. This one doesn't. This thing was like 20 bucks or something back in the day. The first one they did had tons of paint. The second one they did, they got really cheap on the paint. I like this one better than this one. You push the button, the eyes light up, and it talks. Why couldn't they make another tier to where this thing would have talked? That makes no sense to me to give this a talking feature, which is really cool. I actually think that's just as cool as a light-up feature. Or it, It's amazing. It sucks that it doesn't talk. Speaking of talking, I've been doing a lot of that. Enough with me. Let's check this shit out. It's not the first time. All 
All right, this thing is massive. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. I'm gonna have to move the camera a lot to try to get you some decent angles. That's why I'm probably not even gonna mess with articulation. There's already a tons of our tons of really good videos out there with articulation. So you, if you're looking for that, you can just check it out. Just to say, maybe I'll do a little articulation. The articulation on that, it's 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 absolutely amazing. There's no pins. It, it, it couldn't be any better. It's action figure perfection. The thing is truly awesome. And when you add in action figures, like a full-blown action figure as a tier, that's something that definitely gets my attention. And when you add action figures that we don't have in our collection and you actually say that you're not going to make this version any other way than this, now you really got my attention, which we all know that they're going to remake all this shit because that's just what they do. Give it five or six years, the price of all this shit is going to skyrocket and they'll, they'll remake it because... They love money more than anything in the world. Like they care about their Christmas bonus a lot more than they care about the value of our collection. So first off, they added this, and I was like, wow, that is really cool. Like definitely a character you need in your collection. And they did add some extra sculpted parts on it, which is cool. Like that's not just painted on. This isn't just painted on. So that they made just for this. And then the head sculpt is cool. The downside to this is that they also give you this head. This is two completely different characters. So then you're sitting here going, wait a second, I either have to display them like this, which you're definitely going to go this route, but then I can't display them like this. Yeah, if you're going to take pictures, you can pop this head on, take a picture, and it, it just sucks. I'd rather just have a whole nother figure. I wish that they would make like, I don't know, I kind of wish that they would make this again just for I could put this head on it or make this one again. Because you could army build these things for days, that would be cool too. But who knows? We'll see how it plays out. I'm sure if this thing goes up high enough in value. This thing is already, these are already going for like $150 each on eBay. At least I think they are. I haven't checked lately, but all this stuff is completely through the roof. Like a lot of people slept on it. I asked people why they slept on it and they just go, my money wasn't right. And I, oh, I guess it makes sense. I probably would have slept on it too if my money wasn't right. This thing is really cool. I wish I had two of them, but I don't. So I'm going to display it like this instead of like this. But I'll put this thing on my um, Sentinel Prime thing. I'll probably have the X-Men battle in it. I know that he should go with um, the House of X. I'm, I'm not going to waste Master Mold and the Sentinel on that. I'm going to display him with like the X-Men, like a classic X-Men. I think that just makes for a cooler display. So we got him. And then you have her. And she is also really cool. First time getting her in your collection. Which this, I mean, they got some new sculpted parts, like the torso, the top part of the chest is new, the head is new, the rest of it is just reused shit that you already have. But hey, that's what they do, that's how they make their money. I'm just happy to have another action figure in my collection. She also looks really good. Love having her. And then it gives you a battle damage hand, and I thought this was a really good idea. Like, it would be kind of fun to display it. And it's like the same size as the one where they used to give you like, this was like an accessory back in the day. This whole big giant base, which is crazy. That's like when plastic was affordable because when the gas prices went up, when Obama was president, the action figures jumped up. Guess what? Gas price just jumped again. And guess what? Action figures jumped again. It's crazy how it's all related. And it's also crazy how... Who's in office when I don't want to get political, but I'm just stating the facts like it is what it is. So here's this hand. Here's the battle damage hand. They're both actually battle damage. I think it's cool that the scale kind of matches. I wish that this thing was like the same color as this where I could display it together. I think it'd look a lot better. This on the articulation, none of the fingers move, which I guess it doesn't really matter. The wrist moves, I guess that's all you need. Would be kind of cool if the fingers moved. And then you also get the battle damage head, which was I thought was a really nice touch. If you were like rich enough to army build these, you could display one battle damage and one with this head, and then one as like the marshmallow head, but uh, that's just not gonna happen. This is cool, it's a really nice touch. Only one eye lights up in that. I don't know, you can actually see like the little clear, the little vision thing where the light comes through. I think that's cool that they only did one light up eye on that. I'm going to work through this and try to get it in. Then you have the Tri Sentinel head, which this is cool. It's nice that they added it, but then he should have six arms instead of two arms. So there's no point to even give us this because it doesn't work out. It won't make what you want it to make. And I don't understand why they made this as an option. I thought it was cool. It just was kind of pointless. But then he's got three different faces on it. 
Actually, this space and this space are very similar, but a nice, cool, nice little added touch, even so it's a touch. And this is the reason why I bought it, which I will be putting a set on there and showing you that for the master mold head. This thing is truly amazing. No master mold should be way bigger than this, but it, how else am I ever going to get a master mold in my collection unless I get that old Toy Biz one where it's just the head, which is kind of cool, but this is a little bit cooler. I mean, it's just you're torn. Like, you just wish, like, you could have bought five of these display a master mold on like one side of your toy room with these smaller sentinels and then display like the big sentinels together uh, that would be that's a rich man's dream but it's 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 a little out of grass for me i mean i could do it but it's just it's hard to justify i'll put this on here and we'll follow back to that also they made all these other accessories back in the day you had the head on this which is like the same size you know basic they're actually bigger than the head on this you also get like a torso one and you get a foot one, which the foot one's really big. I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Like I still see people like pulling these things out of their collection and doing like little displays with them. They do make for some good photos, but I'm just really not into the photos. And then it comes with two tentacle hands. This is also another tier. Like you get a tentacle, you get another tentacle. Really glad that they gave you the tentacle. These things are crazy long. Like, I can't even fit it in the camera so long. Of course, they have bender wi bendy wire in it. You can actually put a figure in there, and it'll actually hold the figure up. So I'm glad they did that. As far as the other Sentinels go, like, we have this one. I went with the, I had to put the wings on it. I couldn't not, and the blast effects on there. You got him. We just got her. And then they said that this was the tri sentinel. Then I guess they called it the beta sentinel. It's crazy, like when you expect us to know the names, and they make the toys, and they don't even know the names. And then you have the build a figure sentinel, which was he was always my favorite sentinel for so long. I just love that. The, I just love all the detail and the paint on him. I love that they did the tentacles on him. Of course, he's way too small to be a sentinel. I don't even know where I would display him right now because these other three put together looks so good let me get some of this stuff out of the way and try to show you these sentinels together let me do a little comparison i went ahead and pulled out this iron man which is from comic cave which is absolutely amazing. That thing's all metal, amazing articulation, lights up. It's just, uh, just a really good toy. He's actually 500 bucks. I bought him like, I was like the first one ever to place a port, uh, order at Big Bad. So I got him for 400 bucks. They tried to cancel my order, charged me 500 bucks. I called him, bitch, actually got this thing for 400 bucks, which is really nice. So when you look at this thing, and he's basically 500, but I got him for 400. And then you look at that thing, which is 400, but now he's gone for like 900. I mean, this thing for 400 bucks is actually a really good deal. I know it sucks to say that 400 bucks is a good deal for an action figure. But when you look at this, yeah, it's actually a really good deal. And the, the toy is just truly amazing. Actually, both of these are. This thing weighs like as much as that. It's just... God, that's a. If you like the Mar if, if you like Iron Man, I, I know I'm trying to get out of the movie stuff, but as far as the Iron Man stuff goes, I'm gonna keep all that. Let me move these two Sentinels up here, put them in front of this Sentinel. Let me just go over some of the detail. If you look at the feet on the old one, they painted the wires. This one they didn't. A slightly different color. Painted the knees. This one they didn't. I wish that they would have painted some wires here. They didn't. And then this is um, a different color on the waist. Like, so you have the black here. And then they just went ahead and did all the same on, the, on that. Then on the wrist, you got the wires painted here. No wires painted here. On the face, they put a little bit more detail in that than they did on this one. Let me show you both of them together. Both of these light up. Both of these talk. I thought that was really cool. A really amazing touch. You push the button and you just get magic.
Okay, there's no reason why they couldn't put that same sound chip in this Sentinel. That would have just made, that would have, oh, that would have been so cool, but they didn't do it. They got cheap. It, it, it sucks. Like, it just really sucks. Let me put these two back against the wall. I'll probably take a picture of that and, like, put it at the tail end of my video. Let me back up for you can kind of see all of them together. Let me go ahead and, uh, attempt to pop this uh master mold head on here i haven't put it on there yet i tried to take this thing off and it's like it's really on there plus i was afraid i was gonna screw it up one of the things that they did screw up on is like uh hold on they got this weird little camera lens let me push this and it only lights up right here so when you turn the head you got to kind of turn the neck with it otherwise you won't get the eyes to light up right but yeah it kind of looks like a cool alien robot just like that all right let me put the camera back down get it back up here i know that's a weird funky angle but this is a weird funky thing let me put the master mold head on here clicks right on oh god that looks good All right, so this is how I'm gonna display it. Just like this, let me back it up. Man, you gotta really get back to fit all that in there. I'm gonna display him as master mold with these Sentinels. Yes, that's kind of out of scale now, but how else are you ever gonna do this? It's, God, that man, that master mold head looks good. I'm really stoked on this. I know, like, I feel like it's totally worth the money, man. I don't, like, I kind of feel like a dipshit buying this at first, but after getting it, it's kind of worth it. So how this button thing works, this does everything. It's got a back panel on the back, and you just pull it straight off. You put some A batteries in it, real easy. All it does is light up no sound because they're super cheap god they suck for not doing that like they almost made it almost made it but they blew it could you imagine if they did like a sound chip and when you put the master mold head on there he said different things than the sentinel head oh uh, no didn't didn't happen but whatever so you can push the button once the eyes will light up a certain way you can push and hold it for two seconds the eyes will light up a different way you can push and hold it for three seconds the eyes will light up a different way that's basically it so you push it you get that they change colors they do cool stuff i like that let me dull some of these lights down so you can actually see this a little bit better Man, I, what I like, I hate when they have an on and off switch because then you never do it because you turn it on and you forget to turn it off and then the batteries are dead and you never change the batteries out. Push it once, that is really cool. They switch around, then it blinks and turns off eventually. Push and hold it for two seconds. It blinks, changes colors. And then the eyes shut off, which I don't like that the eyes shut off when you do that. And then you can push and hold it for three seconds. I don't know if that was the right one. That wasn't. I think you gotta hold it for longer than that. And then it will stay on. If that's the right one, it will stay on for like 10 minutes. So yeah, I think I, I think I got it right. Where they just light up red. But here he is, as far as the detail on this thing. Just kind of go over them real quick. It is truly amazing. They painted some wires. I think they did a good amount of paint on it that every joint on the fingers is articulated were my knees loose yes they absolutely were loose let me go ahead and show you that i think that everybody had loose knees if they said they didn't have loose knees they might have been lying so you got these two covers right here you can stick a screwdriver in there it didn't really scratch like i wasn't real delicate with it if they clip in a certain way, you just pry them a little bit. They work right out. You pull those out. There's two Phillips head screws in there. I, t I had it. These were like so loose, they were basically almost falling out. It's like nobody took the time to tighten them. Pop both of these off. 
cranked them down like super tight. You can feel like when you're about ready to strip it out, you want to go as tight as you can possibly go. There's two on the other side. I did all of those and now it stands up really good. Mine was so loose that it wouldn't even stand up. Like if I could put it just like this, just standing up perfectly straight, it would fall over. Like it was just shit. It did not work at all. So I'm glad that we saw that little trick to where we can do that. This is the back plate that I'm talking about. You can take this, pull this straight off. And like, you are kind of scared because mine was kind of hard to get off, but I just said, fuck it, went for it. And it actually worked out really well. Tons of detail on the back of this thing. He's amazing, man. Like, I don't know, like, it sucks because a lot of the um, X-Men classic characters that I want to display with him, I have in one of these teams up here. So I'm wondering, like, I don't want to ruin my team displays. But I kind of like, I kind of like, you know, I'd love to have like this team right here. It's like probably my favorite X Men team. Or this one. Either the gold or blue team. And those are, I really like those. I'd love to have like this team just battling him, Master Mole, like do like a whole scene. But then I want to keep that team together. Either way, here's the Master Mole slash Sentinel. Hope you got it, enjoyed, enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys got one. If you didn't, I don't know. Maybe you can come up on mine. If it's too expensive, I totally understand because I wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on this. But I kind of think I would. I could not. I could not have this. I have to have this in my collection. Anyways, there's the video. I'll put some pictures at the tail end. I don't know how many like actually good pictures I'm going to do because that would require a lot of work and I got to get. I don't know. A couple pictures. Fuck Joe Biden.